my B group. All right, my friends, so today you are going to be working on these worksheets independently. So first things first, write your name at the very top. And this one, you just circle your C's. So go ahead and circle all of your C's. And then we are all done. Go ahead and put this in your communication folder, okay? You're gonna turn this in. All right, the next worksheet you're going to do is get your number 17 worksheet. First things first, we're gonna put our name at the top. And then today, all you have to do is trace your number 17. So that's just a one and a seven. A one and a seven right next to each other. That's all you have to do today. Just the one and the seven. These are fancy sevens. They have the diagonal line. But you can make a straight line. Just make the one and the seven. Okay, just like that. Then let's count our 17 flowers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, and 17. Great job, my friends. Go ahead and put this in your communication folder. You're going to turn it in. All right. For our third worksheet, we are going to be talking about sizes. For this activity, you need to have your scissors. So first things first, you're going to go ahead and cut out all of the squares. And we're talking about sizes. We're talking about putting them in order. So you can put them in order from smallest to biggest, or you can put them in order from biggest to smallest. Those are the two orders that you can do it in. Today, we will work on smallest to biggest. But first things first, you need to cut these out. And then these are for you to use at home so that you guys know how to do this because on your test at the end of May, you will be doing this all by yourself. So make sure you guys are keeping these and practicing them at home. Cut out the squares. And then we're gonna put our ants in order from the smallest ant to the largest ant. So we're gonna put all of our ants right in front of us, just like this. And we're gonna find which one is the smaller one. We're gonna pull down the smaller. Then we'll get the next smaller one. Which one is next smaller here? Which one is the next smaller one here? Which one is the next one here? And then the biggest one goes here. So it goes from smallest, bigger, 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 biggest. Okay? Just like that. I also have these. So today I have a ninja. And um, with your ninja, you can sort them and put them in order by sizes. So look at how cool this is. I haven't used it before, so they're sticking together here. Let me pull it all apart so you can see them all. There's a little one inside of here. Come on, guy. Look at that. So we can line it up the smallest. You can order these. I ordered these on Amazon. They weren't that um, expensive. This is a lot of fun for the kids to play with, too. Let's see. Know how to oh there we go line them up correctly and then the next one oh this one might be stuck well oh, we'll just put this in here and then the next one and they're cool little ninjas isn't that neat gotta line it up correctly and then our biggest ninja. So we're talking about ordering in size. So we got smallest to biggest. Just like that. Pretty neat, huh? Look at my little ninjas. 
cool, cool. All right, my friends, so I want you to keep practicing this, okay? I need you to put it from smallest to biggest, all right? Smallest to biggest or smallest to largest. All right, I'll see you guys later. Bye.